previously on Just Add Magic. I checked my balance. It looks like we're in business. If I can't be an actor, I'd still like to be a part of it. Maybe you can help build sets. Oh, who would erase RJ's knowledge of magic? Who could erase RJ's knowledge of magic? If RJ was a protector, there are two others out there. In-betweeners? Because they had the book In Between the OCs and Us. Noel Jasper? She had to have been a protector. Which means she could be dangerous. All the more reason to investigate. This rosemary must be a magic spice. She spells her customers to love her food. This is definitely RJ's book bag. And these are all the spices he stole from us. She must have taken these from RJ after she cursed him. Imagine what she'd have done if she'd caught us. So what do we do now? Not sure. Darby, you watch all those detective movies. What happens next? The bad guy comes after the detective, usually at night when her guard is down. But Noelle seems so zen. Don't let her not mistake fool you. You've taken her livelihood away. She's going to be mad. Not only that, we have evidence that she committed a crime against RJ. I'm no detective, but the first thing I do is secure the evidence. I was just going to say that. OK, do we have a wall safe? No, but we have a secret pantry. Do you think Noelle will really come after us? Yes. You know, I'm a little hurt you lied to me, Kelly. I really thought you had promise as a server. You did? Sorry, but you always get my order wrong. I'm not sure why you stole my stuff, but I'd appreciate it if you'd return it. Now. Please. No. We're not gonna let you spell your customers into believing your food is good. Because it's really not. And you stole those spices from RJ, which he stole from us. When opportunity knocks, the universe wants you to answer. I saw the spices, and I took them. And now, I want them back. Or you're going to have a sip of juice? We both know this isn't juice. You're going to spell us unless we give you the spices. Sorry, but you leave me no choice. Last chance. Namaste. You guys okay? Noelle Jasper just spelled us. With what spell? We have no idea. Remember the plan. We need to be on the lookout for any signs of what spell we're under. So far, I'm okay. Me too. Me too. Whoa, I just tripped. Maybe we're under a clumsy spell. I don't think so. You were the only one who tripped. Right. So maybe I'm just clumsy. I felt congested. Anyone else? No, Hannah. Noelle wants her spices back. She's not going to curse us with nasal congestion. Good point. It'll be much bigger. Wonderful. I know we'll figure this out. Stay in touch. Hey guys. Oh, thanks, Mama P. My contribution to the Quinn mayoral campaign. Well, that makes you one of our biggest donors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of the mayor's race, what's Adam Lever doing here? Mr. Lever, you're in the wrong campaign headquarters. I was wondering why I didn't see any leave it to leave her signs. <laughs> Mama P, I would love a cup of coffee and one of your famous oatmeal raisin cookies. I'll make that to go. Oh, that would be great. I'm actually here to talk to you, Terry. So, uh, how's the family? We miss you at all the basketball games. Well, Kelly's more into cooking these days. Uh -oh. Not to cut this fun visit short, but we do have a campaign to run. Oh, exactly. Which is why I'm here to make a proposal. What do you say we both agree to run clean campaigns? 
I love that idea. Yeah, we may disagree on the issues, but we both love this town, and we're trying to set a good example for our kids, right? Exactly. So, deal? Deal. <laughs> may the best person win. Oh, yes. Thanks, guys. Huh. That was a nice surprise. I don't buy it. He's a shark. Oh, he's nice. He's a dollar short. Hey, Councilman. You still owe me a dollar for the cookie. I think I've paid you enough. Not that I'm complaining. Just found out that the Saffron Falls Herald has endorsed me. I don't know how you did it, but that should give me a lot of votes. <laughs> when were you going to tell me about your plan to build a giant mall that will put me out of business? Oh, well, uh, I was gonna tell you... When the bulldozers came down Main Street? If you want my help, we're making a new deal. Let's hear it. That mall of yours is about to get a new restaurant. And the rent is practically free. That's right. Mama Peas is expanding. Okay, fine. But you gotta do something for me. I'm going to get the mayor's endorsement, don't worry. I know. You need to do something else. Find dirt on Terry. I don't know. It's a 10,000 square foot restaurant. Deal. <laughs> Thanks for the cookies. Where do amino acids join together to form proteins? Ribosome. Come on, guys. Someone has to know this. Ribosome? There you go. Nice job. And we're on stage, and she says, I don't feel good. And I say, that's not the line. And she says, I don't feel good. And I say, that's not the line. And she runs off stage with her mic still on. Turns out she did know the line. <laughs> she was just sick. They didn't even wait for the punchline. They just walked away and ignored me. I know the feeling. Mrs. Vega acted like she didn't even hear me. Do you think Noel put us under an ignore me spell? Hard to tell. Haley ignored me, but that's normal. And the other students also ignored me, but that's normal. But today did seem extra bad. It makes perfect sense. Noelle doesn't want people to pay attention to us when we tell them she's been spelling the food at Saffron. So what do we do? If we can figure out what the spell is, we can counter it. Make it happen macaroons? No. Speed reading schmetzel? No. Oh, why does the book have to be infinite? And maybe we could just logic out a counter spell. Yeah, but we only have a limited amount of spices. We have night blooming salt. That's the attraction family. And Grunde herbs. That's a vision family. Those ingredients might balance out the ignore me spell. <sighs> what can we make with salt and herbs? Ooh, potato chips. Potato chips, that's a great idea. I was talking about these, but yeah, let's make potato chips. <laughs> Perfect name. Pay attention, potato chips. I hope this works. Oh, this is going to work. Definitely. Oh, 
Mitochondria are shaped perfectly to maximize their productivity. Kelly, please pay attention. Yeah, I just, I needed to grab my- I'm not interested. Just don't disrupt the class, please. They're made of two membranes. The outer membrane covers the organ. Okay, that's enough. Kelly, you've got detention. Excuse me. I'm not sick or anything. Haven't you ever just sneezed? <laughs> okay, Piper, go ahead. You must believe me, Inspector Langham. I saw her pour the fateful glass of... Derby, what are you doing? Nothing. You're not doing nothing. You're taking focus from the actress on stage. No offense, but you kind of are. Sorry, my ear itched. Let's take it again, Piper. You must believe me, Inspector Langham. I saw... I'm sorry, Miss Balfour. Darby distracted me again. What? How? I wasn't even moving. Darby, I know that you want to act, but right now your job is to be behind the scenes. Why don't you get the candelabra from the prop storage for the next scene? Sorry, Piper. Continue. You must believe me, Inspector Langham. I saw her pour the book. Darby! Come on! Hey. I saw what happened at lunch. Just leave me alone. I'm not sure why everyone was staring at you. I am, but it doesn't matter. I'll be back to being visible again tomorrow. I don't know what's worse. I hate the school and I never should have come here. Don't say that. When I first started here, I ate lunch alone for the first two months. What about your friend Bianca? You met her on the first day. Have you met a Bianca at this school? Well, no. That's because I made her up so Mom wouldn't worry. Really? You? Hannah, I'm sorry. Why? You didn't do anything. Exactly. I'm your older sister. I should have realized how hard things have been for you. Come on. I have a shirt I can lend you. Thanks. I usually have an extra one, but I used it yesterday after a chem lab situation. But if you get a stain on it, I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, Gina, thanks for coming. It sounded urgent. It is. Nice, but I don't understand. Look. The knife, fork, and spoon logo. Where did you find this? It was sitting on a shelf. Oh. It's locked. I know. We need to find out who brought this in. Well, I checked the ledger. It's been here since 2004. Someone named Laura H. brought it in. Who's she? No idea. Ornate carved wooden box with key. Where's the key? I don't know. We need to find it. You couldn't find a recycling bin? Excuse me? This was posted on Adam Lever's website. Recycle much? Is, is this a joke? I wish, especially since I'm the candidate with the recycling initiative. Terry Quinn can't manage her wayward daughter. How can she manage Saffron Falls? I can't believe you got detention. How did this happen? Apparently, some kid who supports Lever snapped these photos and sent them to his campaign. How can any kid support Adam Lever? I'm the one with the education plan and the parks and rec plan, Terry, the plan. We know. Like it or not, Kelly, you're a public figure now. You need to stop drawing attention to yourself, especially this kind. I'm really sorry, Mom. I wasn't thinking. Trust me, I'm not trying to draw attention to myself. Please be more careful. And I haven't forgotten about detention. I know. Don't be too hard on Kelly. 
It's not really her fault. Oh, I know. It's Mr. Let's Run a Clean Campaign. Oh, he went after my kid. How could he do that? Welcome to politics. I feel bad for my mom. I can't believe someone sent a photo of me throwing a water bottle away. It's just the spell. If you weren't under it, nobody would have paid attention. Why didn't our counter spell work? We must have done something wrong. Hello, ladies. How was your day? What spell did you use? It's not important, because I see it worked perfectly. I want the spices. We don't have a choice. Actually, no. We're not giving you a thing. Because you never spelled us. That's ridiculous. You just said the spell worked perfectly, but we're not under a spell you created. We're under the spell we created. Okay, I'm confused. Think about it. We cooked a counter spell that was supposed to neutralize the ignore me spell that we thought Noelle put us under. Right, but instead of making things go back to normal, we ended up becoming the center of attention. Our counter didn't counter anything. It just worked like a normal spell. Which means we were never cursed to begin with. You were bluffing. Okay. You got me. It's very impressive. But just because I didn't spell you last time doesn't mean I can't or I won't. Give me my rosemary. We'll take our chances. So we ate the potato chips, and now we're under a pay attention to me spell. We spelled ourselves for no reason. So that's why I didn't zone out while you were telling this very long story. How did this happen? It's complicated. We were fake spelled, but didn't know it. We cooked a counter, which wasn't really a counter, and ended up spelling ourselves. Oh, the old fake spell fake out. When you get inside someone's head, it can be as powerful as a real spell. Clever. Who did it? Noelle Jasper. Saffroons, Noelle Jasper? We found out she was an in-betweener with RJ, and that she's been spelling her food at Saffroon. Wait, she's spelling her food? That sure explains the lines in the rave reviews. I don't believe it. Who would do that? Yeah. Who? Do you want my help or not? In fact, if you didn't have all my attention, I'd walk right over and give that woman a piece of my mind. She's closed. Saffroon. Okay, first, let's get you unspelled. Go to my pantry and get some Merwaldian cinnamon to reverse the attraction spice. Sprinkle it in some bland oatmeal. Bland? Oh, I get it, so we won't stand out anymore. Thanks, Mama P. Once we're back to normal, we'll figure out what to do about Noel. Leave that to me. I know exactly how I'm gonna handle this in-betweener. Nope. Let me try one. Guess I have the touch. Well, this isn't what I was expecting. Not even close. It looks like it belonged to a teenager who went to see Batman Forever in 1995. This isn't gonna help us. It's just a bunch of junk. I got your message. I'm pleased you're willing to negotiate. I didn't say that. I just said I have your spices. And I would like them back. Please. So you can continue to spell your customers? Huh. Where do you think I got the idea? Hmm? I was in your store a few months ago and bought one of your very dry cranberry scones and then felt compelled to spend $50 on potpourri. I don't do that anymore. And neither will you. Long day. 
I better get dinner started. I'm not very hungry. I just had a bowl of oatmeal. You know, comfort food. Hey, Mom. I feel really bad about what happened. I would never want to do anything to hurt your campaign. Oh, sweetie, I know. I... Actually, I'm the one who owes you an apology. No one should have to live in the spotlight like that. Ugh. Jill was right. That Adam is a shark. Trust me, the gloves are coming off. Don't lower yourself to his level. I'm really proud of the campaign you're running. You are? Just keep doing what you're doing. You're going to win. Are you just buttering me up so we don't have to talk about detention? No. But that would be nice. <laughs> Sweetie. Kelly. Yes? Nice job on your lab work. You must believe me, Inspector Langham. I saw her pour the fateful glass of poison tea. I'll meet you in the parlor. Can I sit with you? No. Okay, what I mean is you can. But maybe you should go sit with her. But she's surrounded by her friends. Yeah, because she's nice. Nothing's gonna change if you don't put yourself out there, Hannah. Hi. Um, is the seat taken? No, have a seat. My name's Hannah. Shannon, I've seen you around. How do you like Fox Canyon so far? Um, it's okay, I guess. Except for the food. Yeah, it's best to stick with the fries. Pretty day to be out getting votes, huh? <laughs> I'm glad I ran into you. Why? Do you want to put my picture on your website? Terry Quinn, addicted to caffeine? Look, I want to apologize for what happened with Kelly. I did not authorize that, and I promise I will fire whoever did this. No, you did it, Adam. That's as low as it gets. Kids are off limits. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry, Terry. I just really want to be mayor. And I'm going to do whatever I have to do. Well, you do what you want. But I'm still running a clean campaign. Because when I go home to my family, they're proud of me. And I'm not losing that because of you. And I am going to defeat you. I can't believe Saffron is open again. It didn't seem busy. Hey, Mama P. Hi, girls. The usual? Yes, please. What happened last night with Noel? Noel? You were gonna talk to her about her magical popovers? Magical? I've heard they're good, but I wouldn't call them magical. So you don't remember talking to Noelle? Pretty sure I'd remember it. Yeah, me too. Is the rosemary plant still in the pantry? Who keeps a rosemary plant in the pantry? I wish I had a pantry. <laughs> have you seen how tight it is back there? Mama P, you do have a pantry. A secret pantry. If I do, then it's a secret to me. Livonian? Elysian? Morbium? Are you speaking English? Have a seat. Be right back with your smoothies. Mama P doesn't remember magic. She's been spelled just like RJ. We know who did it. Noel. Noel. 